I think it's really rather sad that the second ever national referendum in this country has degenerated into a war of personal abuse over the course of the last few days. Professional politicians bickering with each other does nothing to enthuse people to go out and vote next Thursday. And certainly when I took a straw poll in my local village pub on Sunday, uh, the view was uh, that everybody was completely turned off by it. And what they'd like to hear um, is something about the issue itself. So I think that very bad mistakes have been made on both sides. And I have to confess that UKIP are particularly angry with the no side. Let me explain. That is a typical UKIP local election leaflet. And here we have the official no campaign leaflet. Uh, not just the same colours as UKIP, but in fact the style on the front of using figures, quoting, qu quotes in millions, is identical to the campaign we ran for the European elections in 2009. Now, I know that was a rather successful campaign for us, and perhaps um, I should say to Matthew Elliott that we're very flattered uh, that he's chosen the colours and the style of a UKIP campaign, but my message to the two and a half million people who turned out and voted UKIP in 2009 is please do not think that UKIP is supporting the No campaign. We are not. I think first past the post is seen to be, by a younger generation, completely bankrupt. And democracy is losing the younger generation in this country. 60% of under 30s don't bother to vote. Now, there's more than one reason for that, but the main reason is they simply can't see the point. You know, if, if, if you're a Tory in Sheffield or a socialist in Isha, uh, what is the point on a rainy Thursday afternoon in wandering down and putting your cross next to a candidate who you know is going to lose? So my feeling is that if the no campaign wins this, then the issue of electoral reform will be buried for a couple of decades. If the yes vote wins this, then at least people will be able to go out and vote with their conscience at the next general election, and they can put their first choice against somebody that they actually believe in. And as we've seen in European elections, that can produce some really very surprising results. I don't argue that AV is where we want to finish up. I want to see a degree of proportionality within the British voting system, but I see voting yes next Thursday as a very important first step.